National HIV AIDS Strategy is an opportunity for us. People living with HIV AIDS, AIDS service organizations, service providers, faith leaders, everyone, to think about how to make the strategy work for all of us. Hi, I'm Miguel Gomez and I work with AIDS.gov. I get asked all the time what you can do to support the National HIV Strategy. I often will say, read it, but really, what does that mean? What it means is that we have this incredible roadmap to help us move towards the management of HIV AIDS in the United States. What's important is that we need to get together with our professional colleagues, our friends who are involved in HIV AIDS, and dive into it. Have a conversation about what the HIV strategy means for our community, our neighborhood. And then ask our service providers, our elected officials, our faith leaders involved in AIDS, when they do their HIV planning, are they incorporating some of the language and some of the objectives within the National AIDS Strategy? To help support the National HIV AIDS Strategy, AIDS.gov spoke with federal partners and colleagues about how they use the strategy and how they encourage others to do so as well. I would say that the National HIV AIDS Strategy is a strategy, and I think what it compels all of us to do is look at all of our efforts, whether local, state, or federal, or even international, looking across prevention, treatment, and care and our efforts in HIV AIDS, and looking at the structures that influence whether people are able to stay healthy or avoid HIV infection, to say, are we being as strategic as possible? So we could look at the strategy and its goals to say, how could we implement them locally? How can we build alliances where we haven't before? What's the most strategic way with limited resources to really roll back the epidemic um, in our lifetime or beyond? And then I would say, what can we do to make sure that this strategy is implemented at the national level in a time of competing priorities? If we agree with it, we need to speak out and say so, and we need to use our own voices and our own communities to say this is important to us, and we're ready to make some hard choices in what's the most strategic approach to combating the epidemic in this country. I think one of the ways I use the strategy most is to get people familiar with an overarching policy that the government has set for the first time. Uh, and I would say what rises to the top for me on that is emphasizing the issues of stigma and discrimination and disparities, which are so pronounced in a number of cases when we've encountered um, prejudice and stigma on an institutional basis or a policy basis, we've actually quoted the National HIV AIDS strategy, both the vision statement and specifics within the strategy, including things on criminalization, to combat that. The VA supports the National HIV AIDS strategy in many ways. We've developed an operational plan to ensure that all the goals and targets are being met by the VA system. So the National HIV AIDS strategy has three main goals, reducing new infections, improving access to care and health outcomes, and reducing health disparities. When it comes to linkage to care and health outcomes, the VA already does a fantastic job. We have over 95% linkage to care rate. We know that once you're in care in the VA system, you have access to all the antiretrovirals, you know, you have access to um, subspecialty services, mental health services, housing services, social services. So we actually provide excellent care and we can be considered perhaps a benchmark for other programs across the country. Um, when it comes to health disparities, it's almost similar. Once you're diagnosed with HIV in the VA system, regardless of age, gender, race, or ethnicity, you receive the same care in the VA. You have the same access to all the laboratory tests, to all the medications, to all the social services. Um, where we are working hard is to try to reduce stigma uh, around HIV. For more information and continuing updates on the National HIV AIDS Strategy, visit AIDS.gov. And while there, be sure to visit our blog to share your own stories of how you and your organizations and communities are using the National HIV AIDS Strategy to strengthen and improve the response to HIV AIDS.